Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fixing It Up with Sandra. And in case you're new, I am Sandra. Um, today we are going to be doing a fun Easter uh, cupcake recipe. Super simple, we're gonna be using box cake, uh, pre-made frosting, I had it in the pantry. You can make your own, you can make your own cake. But the fun part is, is the decorating. We're gonna make these little cupcakes look like Easter baskets. So as long as everything goes exactly the way I have it planned in my mind, these are gonna look super, super cute. So I'm super excited to get started with this craft with you guys today. And hopefully you guys will find it just as fun and as creative as I do. And this is something that you guys can do with the whole family. All right, so let's get started. Did y'all notice my new schnazzy um, kitty cat apron? I am so bummed that it says coffee right meow because I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. Um, so, oh well, it was super cute. I had to get it. I got it at Walmart for like $7, but I love it. Anyways, what we're going to do to start this uh, project off is we're gonna make our cake. So I went ahead and because I'm already doing a box cake, I wanna do something fun. So we're going with Fun Betty. I think this is the Easter, it's the spring one. So it's got like little butterflies and whatnot. How cute. So we're gonna work with this cake mix right here. And for the frosting, I already had in my pantry a buttercream frosting. Um, again, go with whatever your uh, preference is. The, the main focus of this uh, tutorial is actually to show you the cute decorations that we are going to put on top of these cupcakes. But I know there's a lot of people out here, there that's never used a box cake. So that's what this uh, beginning part is for. And don't feel bad, I had to watch someone make biscuits and gravy. So I'm following the instructions on the box. So it's gonna put the cake mix in there, in the bowl, one cup of water, I had to watch somebody make biscuits and gravy on YouTube for me to totally understand how to do this. And the thing is, my family's from Arkansas. So you would think that I would know how to make biscuits and gravy, but no siree. Somebody on YouTube taught me how. All right, so then it's three whole eggs. Like that. And then a half a cup of vegetable oil. So this is the super easy cake mix. And it already has like some sprinkles in there, which is what I wanted it to be because this is supposed to be a fun um, cupcake. All right, so it might get a little loud. Sorry, I got my mixer, my hand mixer right here. And when you're just gonna mix this, um, it says roughly for two minutes, I will make you sit on here and watch me blend this for two minutes. I'll just give you the beginning and then I will whip it up. So just mix it up, let's get this. So you're just gonna blend it together for two minutes. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the batter is all mixed together and do mix it for the two minutes. It really does make a difference. Um, that it gets all nice and fluffy and whatnot. It makes it just taste better. So I'm using these cute little Easter cups right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I have a pan right now with 12 cups right here. And then I have another one prepped right here with six. I haven't made cupcakes using a box cake in a long time, so I'm not quite sure how much. Actually, you know, I'm gonna use my handy dandy big ice, ice cream scooper. Um, to give it equal, to do equal amounts in the cups. Oh, that's a little bit much. Maybe I shouldn't fill it all the way to the top. All right. So we're just going to bake this for about, I believe, we are going to do this for about 20 minutes. And then once they've cooled, we're going to decorate them. Super cute. I cannot wait but I will be back with you guys. So just make 
your cupcakes like this and or prep this now if you want to do this in a cake form too if you don't want to do cupcakes you can definitely do a cake form this does not have to be cupcake style i plan on um giving some of this away so that's why it's it's in cupcake form it'll just look cuter they'll get the whole idea of what i was trying to do uh, with a cupcake as opposed to a cake if i had to cut it up so um i'm only filling them i'm trying to fill them up just the uh, three quarters of the way i don't want it to get it too overflowing but there we go but yeah, so if you decided to do a cake, no worries. Um, it's still going to be the same technique um, when we go to decorate. Although I am making these into little baskets, so you could probably do something else with the Twizzlers. You can make like a little rainbow because I know they have like the multicolor like skillet Twizzlers. Oh, that would be cute. So you can do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and fill these cups up. Um, and I'll show you the ingredients that we're going to be using for the decorations. And this is also a activity, like once you get these baked and cooled that the kids can help you with. So it'll be, it'll be fine. They can create their own little baskets. Let me just give you guys a quick peek and then I'll finish this up. Sorry, all right. Got that. So what we're gonna be doing is that I have these pull apart twizz Twizzlers. Make sure they say pull apart. Now we're gonna unwind them and then we're gonna make them into our little basket handles. Super cute. And then we're for our, uh, so I'm gonna dye this green, do a little layer on top of the um, cupcake as our like glue. And we're going to lay down some green coconut. I'm gonna dye this green. Then we're gonna put, I'm gonna kind of switch it up. I'm gonna do these Cadbury uh, chocolate eggs in some of the baskets. And then I also have some jelly beans that we're gonna do as well. Now you can get super creative and use different kinds of candies. You know, make, again, I always say make it your own. Um, if, if you don't see me doing it, but you're like, I want to, go for it. Cause this will work with any kind of candy. Um, but it's just gonna be fun how you see it come together. And um, I can't wait to show you. So. Let me get these into the oven and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, we are back with cooled cupcakes. And so now it's gonna be time to decorate. I'm gonna bring the camera just a little closer so you guys can see what I'm doing step by step. Um, I do want to let you know that this is the very first time that I've ever made these. So you might see a couple of mistakes, just roll with it. I promise we'll at least come up with something really cute. So. I'm gonna bring the camera down. Let's take a look at what we're about to do. Okay, so now got you in, in a closer view. Let's get started. So like I said, we went ahead and did a store, uh, a boxed cupcake mix, which is the Funfetti. Got the cute little sprinkles. And I'm not gonna decorate every single cupcake because once I do a couple, you'll get the point. So I'm probably gonna do, let's do four. That works. Now you can use, um, frosting that you made yourself. I'm going with a buttercream, a whipped buttercream. And did you guys know, because I didn't know for the longest time, that if this frosting is a little too hard to work with, you can pop this container into the microwave, do it in, I would say, 15 second intervals. Um, and soften it up. You can even liquefy this in this container and then pour over your um, cake or whatever it is. And it gives it a really nice finish. I had no idea. So I just thought I'd let all the beginners know that little handy tip. And of course, if you have any tips of your own, feel free to share in the comments. So we're going to make this green. I want to have um, grass, to start with my base and we're going to dye this green and dump that all in there. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of food coloring, lay that down. Let's find my green. I like to use these, um, they're Wilton 
This is like a, a green gel. It's a little dye. A little goes a long way. So this is a leaf green color that I'm gonna be working with today. bit of color. I'm just going to start with a little bit of it on the end of my knife. Dump it in. Stir it up. And then like I said, we're going to dye some coconut green to really give it the look of grass. Now, if you're not a coconut lover, um, I don't know what to say because I'm like trying to think of another way to create grass, but that's just the only way that I know how. So we're going to do this. That came out with one second. Sorry about that. I had a phone call and I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb. Okay. So we have green frosting right here and I'm going to grab another bowl because we're about to dye some coconut, the same color. Got my jar of stuck together coconut. Let me. Now you don't need a whole lot of coconut, it's just your preference. I'm gonna do about a cup and a half, and then if I need more, I'll add more. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the same green to the coconut. Might be better just to mix with your hand. It'll get, yeah, I'm just gonna mix it with my hands. It's gonna get a little messy. You don't have to do this. It just seems to be working. If you have a liquid um, green, you probably don't have to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and, and do that. Do the hand mixing. All right, super cute. I'm gonna show you guys what I have here here. How sweet is that? Let me just rinse my hands real fast. I now have very green fingers. Okay. Now it's time to ice. So we got our base. We've got our coconut. We've got our green frosting. Now I'm just going to run a little bit of frosting over the top. And like I said, this is basically just to adhere the coconut to the cupcake. So put on as little or as much as you want. And again, if you have a cake, this works the same way. You can actually get real creative because you can do, you have more surface area to work with. So you can do like a really cool scene. So I'm going to leave my coconut in a bowl like that. And I'm just going to do the top. Just kind of roll the top in ah. and there we go we've got grass on top of our cupcake i'm gonna do a couple more do another one and you don't have to make this pretty or anything like that because we're going to really get into the decorating part of this so just frost it on like that roll it in the coconut how sweet. Okay, so I said I was gonna do four, but we're gonna work with two because you kind of get the point. So I'm gonna move that to the side and I'm looking for my, hmm, my, my uh, oh my goodness, my Twizzler pull and peel. Okay, so this is gonna be our basket candles. I personally do not like these, but my niece does, so that's all that matters. Okay, and I said we were going to use a little bit, we're going to do a couple of mini Cadbury uh, eggs, the chocolate ones, and then we're going to do a couple of jelly beans. Now we're going to take a couple of these. Now, if they 
I don't think they're gonna stick because of the coconut, so just dip it in the frosting, just get a little glue. And oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm easily entertained and pleased. So, oh my gosh. So this is how, yeah, just do a little dip into the glue, quote unquote, frosting, and place your little eggs wherever you want. I'm gonna mix and match. I'm gonna do some chocolate. I'm gonna do some, some jelly beans. And now this is why I say like, this is a fun activity to do with the little ones because, or anyone for that matter, because you can create your own little scene. How sweet is this? And it, like I said, if you do this in a cake, boy, you can get creative. You can get all kinds of like little goodies on here. So, all right, there we go. So we've got, I'm gonna do just a couple, but you can fill this entire cupcake up with jelly beans or whatever it is. So now that it's time to unpeel. Now I can tell by this texture already that this is not going to stay. I'm trying to think what else could we do? Oh, there's like nerd ropes. There's all kinds of other things that we could do. Clearly not gonna work. So, <laughs> so much for the handles. Um, that's why I do these things with you guys because I wanna show you that even though I had things planned out in my head, doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work. But in the meantime, we're just gonna continue to decorate with um, the jelly bellies or the jelly beans and our things. And I'm gonna go into my pantry and dig out a substitute for our handles. All right. How sweet is that? Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna definitely come up with some handles. All right, so I found a solution. We are going to be using, ta-da, these Sour Punch straws. And I got these in the rainbow color, so super exciting. Um, they hold up much, much better. So I'm gonna take one of these straws. Now, if you don't like sour, you're definitely not gonna like this. Let me get, a knife, let me see. Just cut it down just a little bit. Now this is definitely a mixture of flavors. You've got the chocolate, the jelly beans, the um, sour straw, and the coconut. All right, then we're just gonna, maybe I shouldn't have cut it down so much. Yeah, I'm gonna get another one. Redo, okay. We're just gonna go with the length that it is and we're just gonna tuck it into our cupcake. <gasps> oh, it worked. How stinking cute are these? All right, do a blue one on the other one. This is such a fun treat to do for Easter. Again, it's something that the kids can do. Ah. Look at that one, how sweet. This is something fun for the kids to do and um, they can get, get as creative as they want. So that's it. That is making really cute Easter basket cupcakes. Love them. And if you are making a cake, man, send me a picture. I would love to see what your cakes would look like, but let me wash my hands. Again, I'll bring the camera angle up so we can chat and I'll be back in just a second. All right, so you guys kind of, you guys get the point on how to make these really cute little Easter basket cupcakes. One more time for the cheap seats in the back. So cute. I'm gonna be finishing up the rest of these cupcakes. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Again, if you're making a cake, boy, you had that really big surface area to just get so creative. I just might have to do one myself. Um, but that's it. Uh, super simple cake, uh, box cake, uh, pre-made frosting, a few fun ingredients, change it up if you want. Um, but that's it. It's just a really fun holiday uh, activity to do again with the whole family. 
So uh, other than that, I thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, because I'm new, it really shows me the direction to go in. If you guys are liking this video and if you're subscribing, you're just saying, hey, overall, thank you for producing content. Um, so that really just means the world to me. If you like this video, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up and then tell your friends, tell your friends to watch it. <laughs> but yeah, that's today's activity. Super fun, super sweet, super simple. Um, and I'm definitely gonna be eating cupcakes tonight. <laughs> Have a fabulous, fabulous week and I will see you guys again in my next video. Have a great week.